have a quad espresso? It's my daily routine. Just uh, something I look forward to in the morning. Gets me going and pumps me up a bit and uh, gets me uh, ready for the day. I'd say any, anywhere between eight to 10 a day. And what a couple in the morning, a couple after breakfast, a couple after lunch, a couple before dinner and a couple after dinner. Normally it's, I try to get as much in right before the game. So I'll have like just two in the morning instead of four. And then right before the game, I'll have like four, about four or five shots. We typically fill it up with about 14 shots of espresso. And then it kind of goes around the team. A couple guys take a couple shots here, a couple shots there. All espresso. I'm gonna try to keep going as long as I can. It's just, I enjoy it, it's fun. It's good being around the guys. We got a good, uh, good team camaraderie here. Um, you know, enjoy the laughs with the boys. And uh, at the same time, you know, when it's time to get serious, it's, you know, it's time to put on your game face. I, I still have that, that drive and, and still love it. So um, I'll do it for as long as I can. I've made it a, a, a thing of mine to, you know, always try to be in the best shape that I can. And I think that's helped a lot because um, I think, you know, the, you don't need to worry about me uh, being fit. It's, it's a little bit tougher than it used to be, but you know, there's certain things you gotta do to, to stay in shape. And you know, I, I, I think that throughout the years, uh, you know, I've been known for that and you know, coaches uh, and, you know, uh, can rely on that a little bit. The coaches think that you know, every game, what they're gonna get is a guy who's is gonna be a, a tough defender to play against and a tough guy to play against, whether it's be, being you know, uh, getting tight on my man or or making the guy run up and down the field a hundred times, uh, I'm going to make him tired, and um, the guy who I'm playing against is going to be in for for a good fight. Uh, even if I'm not, you know, on my A game, they're still going to be uh, in for a fight. And um, you know, I think that's what's carried me uh, around for so long. I mean, I'm I'm definitely not still here because of my great uh, ability to take players on one on one or or dribble pass by uh, dribble pass guys. So. Um, uh, you know, I think my fight uh, and the way that I fight on the field has, has helped throughout the years. That's part of my game is being being around the ball uh, at all times and being close enough where I can get a tackle in if I if I need to. And if there's a 60-40 chance, even 70-30 chance, sometimes that coaches don't want to see that one that that I can win the ball. I'm going to go try to win it. I think my timing timing has gotten a little bit better over the years in the tackles. Uh, before I used to get a lot more yellows than I did, even though the last game I got a pretty, uh, pretty good yellow card. I feel the same way about this one as I did the very first one. You know, I still have the the drive that I did back there. I still enjoy being around all the guys, and uh, at the end of the day, it's still a big challenge. Um, you know, it's never easy qualifying, and um, like I said, I still have just as much energy about it, and I'm just as psyched about it as, as I was the first one. Everyone's its own adventure. I mean, from what happens uh, in the away games, you know, and it's mainly just the away games when you go and play these teams in Guatemala, in Costa Rica, in, in Cuba, everything. Something always seems to happen, you know. Perfect example, the lights go out in the last 10 minutes of the Cuba game, you know. Like, you know, where else does that happen? And, in Costa Rica years ago was getting stuff thrown at us and you know in Mexico it's the crowd just being crazy against us and you know sometimes influencing the referees and uh, so every 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 one's its own adventure. I remember one instance uh, I forget when it was but um, it was against Costa Rica in Costa Rica and they were the, the fans I mean it was constant just throwing cans, throwing, I think actually Alexi Lawless got hit with a battery in the head uh, as we were going in at halftime, I think it was. Um, got one, took one pretty good, you know, you could think anything else, you know, but who would think you would get a battery thrown at you and, you know, have a mark on there going in at halftime. And um, that one probably sticks out the most. I mean, there, there was, there's so many and so many things with, with I'm sure you've heard the infamous bags of urine and. I know, yeah. bags of urine and thrown at us and, and this and that, but I mean, anytime you get something like a battery thrown at you, you're kind of like, whoa, what, what's next? I listen to Bob Marley a lot and, you know, he has a big influence on my life and I, I think there's some, he has some quotes in there that, uh, 
that I take into heart before I go to the games. And I've kind of started to pass that on to some of the guys on the team because some of his quotes pump me up. I throw them up there on the board and, you know, if it motivates one guy or two guys, great, you know. And uh, I think pretty much most of the team reads them and looks at them and kind of gives it the old, wow, that's pretty cool. I try to uh, get that positive vibe and positive energy going uh, throughout the team. I've, you know, given lots of, of years to this and, uh, and I feel like it is, I am part of a big family here. Uh, the, you know, I think, what is it, 10, 12 years I've been with, with U.S. soccer and thankfully enough, uh, I've been able to keep on getting calls up. So, I mean, I'm, I'm bleeding, bleeding the colors here. And, you know, whenever you dedicate a, a piece of your life to, to something that you feel passionate about, uh, it's, it, it's a good thing. I definitely feel like I, I am part of a family here and I've been part of the family and I'd do anything for any of these guys and anyone in U.S. soccer. Uh, they've helped me out, they've helped my life out, they've helped everything uh, that I am out. They've molded me in a way uh, with, uh, to be the person I am with, with the camaraderie and, and the way I feel in coming into the camp. So anytime I can get called in or any way I can help out, I'm, I'm gonna do it until I can't anymore, you know, until uh, we know it's time.